Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, and I will be talking about developing uh, mass market applications across to cross uh, the language gap. Um, the 24 official languages and scores of more unofficial ones that are in use across the EU are a source of richness, and as we all know in our industry, it's also a logistics nightmare. Maintaining national identity is the glue that keeps the EU together. Digital equality for all EU languages is essential for business to enhance competitiveness and facilitate innovation, for citizens to feel included, and for governments to promote democracy and transparency. TILDE has created and represents a strong presence for the SME in the European language technology sector. From our beginnings in the early 1990s, a scant 20 years later, we have evolved into the leading language technology developer, which is located in the Baltics. We research, design, innovate, and develop language products and services from idea to customer. Our competitive advantage in this sector is that as a localization company, we can also test all of our own products in-house, so our localizers are actually also our laboratory. They're not always happy about that. As an SME located in the Baltics, we face some distinctive challenges in our chosen industry. The total market for the three Baltic countries in, in our languages is about five million potential customers, including babies and grandparents. Each language is complex and specific and requires more resources than larger, less complex languages. With so few speakers, the resource situation is very, very unfavorable for us. Nonetheless, we have racked up a number of successes in our local mar markets and further beyond our markets. Tilda language products are used by, by more than 400,000 licensed users. Our software includes all the latest technological, uh, language technological features such as multilingual machine translation, text-to-speech, grammar checkers, just to name a few. Uh, this is a great, great case to show how EU support for research can result um, in mass market products and services. Among our other successes um, for the mass market is being asked by Microsoft to help improve the Bing Translator and licensing our language technologies for inclusion in the Microsoft Office suite. We have also used our machine translation platform, Let's MT, that we have created. Um, we have created machine translation solutions for Latvian, Lithuanian, and Estonian, and they're available online for free, and they're available in a free downloadable application app. Um, the machine translation quality, of course, is better than Google or Bing, and it has been evaluated by humans. So we have recently won a number of Baltic tenders to supply machine translation for broad government uses. These um, embedded translation solutions will be used for e-government services. So Tilt and Machine Translation and Terminology Services also are integrated and add value to other European language technology service providers, such as Kilgray MemoQ, Memsource, SDL Studio, and others. Our strength, we feel, is our ability to integrate vertically and embrace both research and development. This is a virtuous circle from research to innovation to products and services and then feedback back into research for more innovation for the next set of products. We also cooperate with leading research centers and other SMEs across Europe. Another significant aspect of our success is our ability to meet the changing needs of our markets. Using the partnership afforded by EU-supported projects, we can move beyond our geographic confines to work with others and learn and collaborate and build systems. The EU is an enormous powerhouse of ideas and energy. The EU frameworks, such as the SME and the ICT-PCP calls, have been critical for creating frameworks of cooperation across various clusters and language technology domains. Insisting on full digital equality for all official EU languages fosters competitiveness, 
because it creates the environment for innovation necessary to create cutting edge solutions. After all, Europeans don't want to be mediocre. We want to be excellent. Markets, as we know, are inefficient, and small markets such as ours are especially inefficient. And the role of the EU and our national governments is to continue to facilitate long-term cooperation and innovation to drive new solutions. As a European SME, representing the needs of language inclusiveness, especially for smaller languages in Europe, I would like to emphasize that a key problem is that just because there is a solution for a few of the larger EU languages doesn't automatically translate, so to speak, into a solution for all languages. There is no uh, opportunity to cut and paste most of the language solutions that work for all, they don't work for all languages. According to the MetaNet language white papers, only, even only a handful of the largest EU languages are more or less equipped for the challenges of staying relevant in the digital age. Tools and solutions, like I already mentioned, simply cannot be cut and pasted. Every language is different. For example, to communicate fully in Lithuanian, Lithuanian has 23 million word forms. To say, to be able to communicate in the same way in English, you need to use only 800,000 um, word forms. So the languages aren't really uh, comparative, and the solutions aren't trans easily transferable from one to the other. As the digital ecosystem becomes more and more advanced and more embedded in our daily lives, we need to step up the attention to make sure that smaller languages do not fall behind. And we also need to make sure that digital equality is ensured while also blazing ahead on satisfying newly emerging needs for advanced technologies, such as text analysis, conversational interfaces, and big data analysis. Digital equality means that no matter what my native language is, I should be able to communicate freely throughout the EU. For instance, my new car should be able to communicate with me in Latvian, not only in French, German, and Italian. And a Spanish tourist going to Estonia should be able to get emergency services quickly and easily in Spanish, not having to go through a second language, which not everybody may understand clearly. The only way to ensure compliance with this basic right embedded in the concept of the EU is to continue to support research initiatives. Oopa. By our example, I have tried to illustrate that at TILDE, we leverage research and development and successfully transfer research advances into mass market applications. And this contributes to narrowing the digital technological gap between smaller and larger languages. So thank you very much, and I would like to, uh, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Manuel from Pangenti. Thank you.